Greetings folks, this is a quick programming tip that I've picked up from one of my YouTube gurus, Richard Mrazek or Rimmer. This little trick gives you variable rates, continuously variable rates on a knob. I have done this before using global variables, which is a reasonably complicated concept. Uh, this is a much, much easier way to do it, just using the multiply function in the mixer lines. I'll show you how to do it. So at the moment I have the rudder on the Avon stick. This is the Park Zone Radian, just the three channel glider. I've got full 100% movement of the rudder when I'm using the Avon stick. Now what I want to do is cut down the movement of that using variable rates. Uh, and I'll go from about 40% rates up to 100% rate. So what I need to do is copy this line here. Uh, I'll just enter and copy that down and then I'll edit that line. Instead of the aileron, I'm going to use the S1 pot. And I'm going to go down to multiplex and change that to multiply. So now what we have is channel 1 is operated by the aileron stick and that output is multiplied by the output for the S1 pot. The S1 pot goes from minus 100% to plus 100% with zero in the middle. Uh, now we don't want the minus part of that, we want to go from 40 to 100 so we need to apply a curve. In the curve line we'll change to custom curve and curve, I'll have to do curve 2, alright. So we'll scoot across the curve Two now. Now we've got a five point curve. We only need a two point curve for this one, so I'll drop that down to two. Point one, uh, we need to go up to 40. So I'll take that up to 40 or whatever you want, could be 50. So 40. Point two will go right up to 100. So what this is doing is restricting the multiplication factor of the S1 pot from 40% up to 100%. So let's go back and have a look at that now. Here's the display screen. Our rudder is on channel 1. So 100%. See the rudder is going from 100 to a minus 100. Now if I dial the S1 pot right down to minimum, that's going from minus 40 to plus 40. So that's sort of minimum rate, 40, and then I can smoothly dial it right up to 100% rate. So I'll just show you that again. 100% rate, turn the knob down to the other extreme, 40% rate, and everything in between. There you go, quick and easy way to give you variable rates on a pot.